वेलकम आई स्पोकन अबाउट डैड अलॉट बट टूडे दिस इज द हार्डेस्ट मैसेज I'll have to give about my dad because how do you give a tribute to the most important person to you in 2 minutes how um do you summarize such a great man in a short span of time how do you convey mm-hmm. such great love to people without breaking down how do you convey all of his teachings in my life in a few minutes um i pray god gives me the grace to be able to do it um i I'd, i'd like to thank everyone for being here um auntie mom thank you for putting this together for dad he is smiling and crying simultaneously that was very big on emotions it is such an honor um to the first and second lady who've been here for us thank you so much for honoring dad as bishop allen kuna as a person and not as a figure we, we appreciate that as a family uh for the message we got bishop thank you for making us laugh because laughter is so important in in times of pain i won't be able to make you laugh i don't think um i don't have the strength to but i i pray for my mother more than anyone at this moment we're hurting as his kids but we grew up seeing the love you saw it later that's all we've ever seen the love they have had for each other is not for show it's not for you it's for them and to lose a love so big i can't comprehend but we're here mom and we will carry on loving you as fiercely as he did in our capacity as your children um a, a while ago i was sitting in the kitchen with pastor andrew and he asked me how do you as his biological children deal with so many people calling your parents mom and dad and as we stand here i know a lot of you are grieving for them in that same way but i told him very easily it was never hard to share him because dad never ever made us feel like second class despite his love for everyone else it was very clear who we were as his kids dad would stop any meeting and with anybody at the drop of a hat if we needed him without question dad was my dad and he showed us he had enough love for us and everyone but his love for us was ours reserved for us alone he loved us fiercely without judgment without condemnation he had a thirst for knowledge that only compared to my own when i picked the career that i picked he made it his mission to become he almost became a lawyer like me just to make sure the conversation stayed on an intellectual level he taught me to question he allowed me to question not only um legally mentally physically but spiritually too he made me find a way to know god on my own not because i was told to but because of a father and if god is our father that displayed his level of fatherhood and if my dad is a fragment of who god is to us then i know i have a loving god it was displayed i didn't have to learn it and when so many people call him dad and people are like why he is a, he, he he was a father to everyone and we accept that so thank you for um giving us your time your attention for everyone who came who flew who's from here 
I thank you for honoring the man that he was. <sighs> was such a weird statement. But I'm happy that as he is now finally resting from the battle that he has gone through, he is at peace and we know where he is and now uh, we know we'll meet him again. And on behalf of my sister, his twin, she also loved him very fiercely. I speak for both the girls, well, only because Jeremy's gonna come and speak for himself. <laughs> um, I speak for both the girls and I know she would have said he was a fantastic dad, a fantastic father-in-law, uh, an even better grandfather, um, which is so hard because he was such a great dad. We didn't think it was possible for him to get better until he got his grandkids and just watching them engage with him was such an honor. I'm so blessed that he got to meet the kids and, and be part of their lives. Um, again, I could go on and on because again, how do you sum the life of a great man in a few minutes? But I will for now. Um, Dad, I, I love you. I wish you didn't go, but I know you had to. Thank you. Thank you. Let's appreciate Robert and Vanessa Kovac.